Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy, Kingdom Soldier, and I'm back again with another commentary. Welcome to the third rendition of the Top 4 Pros. If you want to be available to vote for this, just follow me on Twitter, at Kingdom underscore Soldier. The number four underrated pro for this week is none other than Tyler T.P. Polchow. I probably just murdered his last name, so I'm not going to say it again. Tyler P. T.P. There, you got it? Oh, you just learned something. Boom! Mind blown! You didn't even know! You're like, oh, that's why we call him TP. <laughs> I thought it was because he toilet papered people's houses when he was a kid. <laughs> I say some stupid stuff in my videos, guys. <laughs> TP from EG is the number four underrated pro, and it makes sense in my opinion. First of all, let me, let me, let me tell you who TP is to his team and why he's underrated. Because TP never finishes in the top 10 of any statistical category, very rarely. I think at the X Games, he was fourth in KD, but there was very few teams that actually played in the X Games. It was an invitational. And so let me, let me, let me give you an analogy to, to wake you up to who TP is on his team. In a car, if there's four people in it and there's that one person sitting in the middle. See, in the, in, in the car called EG, Mr. X is like in shotgun. And... T Aches is up there driving, Crim6 and Karma are in the back seat, and then TP sitting in the middle of the back seat. So if the car gets in an accident, TP's the person that flies through the windshield. That's TP for EG. He does what needs to be done. If someone needs to get a bait and switch, he's the bait, and he's comfortable with that. He's fine with that. That's what he does for his team. But there's one screenshot that I need to show you to prove that TP does have something to do with success. That there is something he does, and every player that's on this countdown, there's something they do that for some reason helps their team be a top four team. And let me just show you what I'm talking about. Mm, not too shabby. <laughs> do I need to say anything else? TP's average from Black Ops 2 to Ghost, his average placing on LAN is 1.14 ridiculous he's played with aches for three and a half years his consistency his chemistry with his teammate with his duo is uncanny second to none there is no cod professional players that have played together for as long as tp and aches and tp definitely in my opinion is underrated because he's got crim six and aches on his team who go at each other who are dropping mvps every event and tp is just that guy that is doing what he's supposed to do he's doing what he's supposed to do he's quiet he keeps to himself he's not you know he doesn't talk a lot of trash he doesn't tweet a lot of crazy roasts or anything like that he just does what he's supposed to do um and congratulations by the way tp so on your engagement <laughs> sorry i had to cut out so the number three player in the countdown today the number three player in the top four countdown is none other than miracles from optic nation and i think miracles deserves it i really thought he was going to win based on some of the voting that i saw and knowing that he's from optic i thought that he was going to end up winning this uh nevertheless he ended up getting third i think miracles deserves it he's really undershadowed miracles is one of those players that people just see as he's someone on the team he's not like a flashy player that does all you know he's not a scumpy he's not a nade shot even and nade shot may not even play as well as miracles However, he's Nate Shot, you know, so we all know who he is. He's and and the, Miracles isn't rated very high. He doesn't really finish in, high in a lot of statistical categories. Nevertheless, Miracles is on winning teams consistently. Miracles was on that impact team that won four events in a row, and then they ended up getting second, and then they got fourth, and then they got third, and then all craziness broke loose. They turned into Curse LV, and things went downhill from there after they the worst placing that Miracles has ever had, and most of the other players on that team, when they placed 13th at regionals, didn't make it to COD Champs, and three of the players that won COD Champs on Black Ops 2 ended up watching, and Miracles was one of them. Uh, but Miracles has done well. Optic Nation has done well. They've proven that they're a winning team by winning the open bracket at Anaheim and I think that they're going to do well this weekend going in with that number one seed uh, with EG being gone. They all got a lot of pro points. Uh, Miracles is a good player and he's a part of good teams and he has some intangibles that make him good and I understand why you guys would vote him as the number three underrated player for this week. The number two player is none other than my dude because I really like this guy. I really love what he does. I really love his role in the community than Merc Envy. And Merck is one of these guys that if you go to go to the codpedia.com and scroll through Merck's placings and you'll be hard pressed to find one that has two digits. Even in the bad times that Envy had, you'll be hard to find one that has two digits in it. And Merck is base has basically played for two teams. 
Optic, 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 which of course he won like nine or ten championships, and then Envy, 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 and he's a part of the Envy squad that just won Gfinity 3, broke the Envy curse, so to speak. Castro would say that the curse never existed, uh, because when he was on the team, they won first places on online and things like that, uh, but Merc helped break the Envy curse as we see it, you know, for land, recent lands, and... That was one of Merc's best events. This guy has been playing competitive Call of Duty forever. And that was one of his best events right now, recently, towards this point in his career. He's been playing for three or four years, and he played one of his best events just recently. Uh, Merc is the captain of the team. He's great. He has sat in the Envy house and watched 10 different players come and go. The Scumps, the Goons, the Studies, the Parasites, uh, who am I forgetting? Um, the Rambos, and I, you know, that's not really Rambo's choice, but Rambo on and off the team, and finally, you know, it's kind of consistent that he's off the team. Um, he was there to welcome Nameless and J-Cap, and Merc has just been there to see the growing pains of Envy, the same growing pains that Optic experienced recently, and he was there. He was there to beat Optic at COD Champs, he was there to get second place, he was there to, his placings at COD Champs are first, third, and second, you know, he's a great player, well deserving of the number two, un, uh, under, kind of under uh, ranked player uh, that we see in competitive Call of Duty, and the number one, the number one player in today's top four is Sharp TK. The McGundy, you know, he was in the last countdown for being a top YouTuber, and I think he definitely deserves this. You know, few people know how long Sharp has been playing Call of Duty. This dude is a veteran among veterans. Uh, Sharp's first event, Call of Duty National Championships in COD 4. Of course, he played online and PCL ladders and things like that, but Sharp's first event was uh, his LAN was the MLG National Championships for COD 4, which he won with Rambo, Big Timer, and Dodgers, the team called Extravagant. The next thing he won was the Modern Warfare 2. We got first place in the Modern Warfare 2 Online National Championships. And the rest is history. You know, he, he really had bad placings in Black Ops 1, but I give Sharp his props for sticking around and staying with it. And then, you know, he started with Fear on Black Ops 2, switched to VVV, and then TK was created and Sharp found his home. Sharp is the only player that has remained on the TK roster the entire time that TK has existed. TK, their first six events finished top four. And four of those were second place. Their first six events, brand new brand new created team finished top four six events in a row and you know they've had some off events with all the roster changing i think that dylan and brandon breaking up you know theory and sharp kind of splitting i think that was just not a good idea at all i think they're the duo and they should have stuck together they should have always stuck together uh now they're back together again uh and tk is doing well they won ael dallas with sharp getting mvp they got second at x games which was you know, the first time that they had beaten Complexity slash EG on land to finish higher than them, that was the team that consistently beat them when they finished top four over and over and over. Because Complexity consistently took them out, and they picked up Clayster and still lost to Complexity in the championships. And so, uh, at, I believe it was UMG Philly, maybe. And so, you know, I think that Sharp is one of the bright spots in our community. I think all four of these players, you know, um, but especially, you know, Sharp and Merc, they're really bright spots in our community. They're veterans uh, among veterans but they're still on winning teams and they just have something in them that is willing to just play their role do what they're supposed to do and get the job done i think tk is going to do great this weekend at dallas i may get a prediction vid out tomorrow you guys let me know in the comments what you think who are your top four most underrated professional call of duty players nade shot was on the list he almost made the top four uh zuma fizzer attach um you know some online warriors you know sorry attach you call yourself a warrior you know you call yourself the number one warrior in professional call of duty um you know there's there's a lot of people that that almost made it that got votes you know but in at the end of the day it was these four guys that got the top four you guys let me know what yours guys are in the comments and i'll see you tomorrow for best competitive vids of the week this is your boy kingdom soldier i'll see you in the next video peace